All right, guys, welcome back to more Silent Hill 3. Kind of worried right now. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, watch out! Do these guys eat beef jerky? I don't know if they do or not. Oh, shit. Why was it vibrating like I was about to die? I have no idea. You know, I would say this copies a lot of other games with the uh, train ride effect. Like Dead Space 2 had it, Cry of Fear had it. But you know, I think all those took something from this. Oh my god. That's a big one. Oh no, you don't. Oh, come on! How do you get off this thing? Empty can of juice. That wasn't a can. What the fuck? What did I just pick up? I picked up two things. Newspaper. I'd be lying if I this if I said this did not remind me of my favorite movie. If you follow me on YouTube for quite some time, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who do not, are fairly new. Collateral is by far my favorite movie. Okay, I'm really worried. I'm going through these health drinks like this going ass style. Um fuck. So already got six, it's good. I feel like I'm about to take this big bastard down. I don't know what these things are called. But he is a big mother. Ooh. Oh, two hits. Oh no! What's that swing? Yeah! Kicking him in the balls repeatedly. What the fuck, Charles? Did I kill him? Oh, I did. How about that? Let me save, because I don't want to use up all my shotgun ammo just on the big guys. There we go. I don't know, man. Starting to get a bad feeling about this. I wonder if I have a map for this area. I don't think I do. Awesome possum. Who the fuck said that? What she look? Oh, a save point. Let's do it. I'm actually making a new save file every time I save it, just in case my recording just hits the fan. You know, in the middle of recording, that way I can go back because there's no checkpoints or anything. What? I don't have a map for this area. Okay. Looks kind of like the subway, but not quite. And it was, wow, it didn't transition. Game got skills. Lock's broken. All right. Let's see if we can just, there we go. I'm getting tired of not being able to see in front of me. It's starting to drive me crazy. Okay, this, oh, hold up, hold up. This area just looks like a boss battle is about to happen. That would be some scary shit, wouldn't it? Oh shit! I can't even see! What is those things? Jesus Christ! What is that? Oh, please give me a door. Yeah! I feel like I'm about to die. No, I'm good! Oh, no you don't. That was a door back there I should have touched. I'm at it. I kind of feel like I'm going in all the right places. Only one way to go here. Is this a sewer area? 
Every time there's a sewer area to get, it just drives me crazy. Oh shoot. Still more? Can I go right? Nope. All right. Let's make it linear for me. Can't touch that. Oh, blue door. What? Am I even going in the right area? Holy fuck, there's three of them. Oh shit. I got a maul, can I use it? Oh, I can. Look at that. That is so sick. What, is that a first aid kit? Yes, sir. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be in this area. All right, let me read it. I'm not gonna leave this one alone. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed what she said the first time. You can actually pause it and go back and read it. But I won't be able to. Toolbox here, but there's nothing really useful. Well, why is it so, like, focused in on it? That's weird. There is a map right there, though. Underpass map. So is it a sewer? I guess the sewer is an underpass. I don't know. Anything else I can use down here? All right, since we got the map, let's go ahead and take a quick look. All right, let's go ahead and see what's up. There's a lot of exploring to do down here, so I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna go as smoothly. Those big guys, holy fuck. Have I been this way? Let's see. Nope, this is a new area. I don't think I can go through this door. I guess I can, how about that? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been down through here yet, so... I'm hoping that this doesn't lead me anywhere crazy. Sometimes the game kind of glitches. Oh my god, what are those things, man? What is that shit? Oh, this is, this is look, just look horrifying. You know? I'm gonna equip them all in a minute. I really am. I'm scared to do anything. Okay, long hallways. I think that's a new fear of mine. Currently, I'm only afraid of a couple of things. One is, I don't know. I don't really know if it's heights. I'm a pretty tall guy. I don't know if it's heights or if it would be considered. I, I really think heights would be it. There's another tool shed or tool, tool shed, toolbox. All right. But I am terrified of Ferris wheels. I will ride a roller coaster. You take me to the, the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world, I'll ride it. Not an issue. Ferris wheels. Things that stay up in the sky slowly. There's gotta be a word for that. That's that slowly bring you down. I don't even know if I'm, I'm scared of skydiving. I was supposed to go this past October, but I never did. It got too cold and got too busy. Is this a door? It's a door for short people. I know that. Look at the blood on the door. <laughs> that's, that's reassuring. People, uh, people said, a lot, like, I think I got a lot of you. I wouldn't say a lot of you. A lot of my audience. From, uh... Silent Hill Downpour. If I if I got you from that series and you watched two as well. What the hell does this do? Oh, it's broken. Might be a fuel tank. There's nothing in it though. Alright. Well, let's go down this way. So I have to drain it first, okay. Let me see my inventory really quick. I don't think I have like a crank or anything else to push in there. I have a key. Bulletproof vest might do the trick, right? <laughs> Wrong. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Let's go back this way and see where we haven't been. 
There's another door to the right, and there's one on the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. These things, I don't know what they are. But I will say that every time I see one, I about shit my pants. It's super dark right now. Ooh. Safe spot. There's some kerosene left in the heater, looks like. If I had some sort of container, I could take it with me. Well, before I save it, let's just look around. Go ahead and pick up all the nice little items here. Locker filled with something. I don't know what it just said. Oh, ammo. Ammo. Shotgun and handgun bullets. So I need some kind of bottle or bucket. Something to put the kerosene in. Alright, let's go look for some kind of container. I'm gonna get raped by these things. That's fine. It's whatever. Now I just need to find something to put the kerosene in. I don't even know what I can do with the kerosene after I obtain it, you know? Wait, have I, have I been down through here? Yeah. Never been. Oh, shit! All those little insect things. What the fuck are they? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Am I dead? Get up, bitch! Oh, I did a lot of damage. Can I eat the beef jerky? Let's try and use it just to distract. Maybe it'll just distract him. I don't know if they eat that stuff, though. Can't go through there. So what is the point of this area? Just a room full of monsters with nowhere to go. Come on, there's gotta be something. Is there not anything I can? There's a. I thought that was a ladder for a second. I, I had an idea. Usually, when you can't go anywhere else, you can go up. Oh, it's eating the beef jerky. Nice. It's rusted shut. I don't see anything down here, guys. I would like to think that there's this room serves a purpose. But I'm starting to think right now that the only reason you come down here is just to get slaughtered. And that's it. There's nothing else. Ah, oh, come on! Alright, we're out of here. <laughs> the room of nothingness. What was the point of all that? Alright, we're gonna leave here. Go straight back up. Dodge these fools. Whoa. I'm trying to think what they kind of remind me of. Favorite scary movie, guys. Go. Not, it doesn't have to be a zombie movie. For me, personally, I don't know. I have a top few, but I don't know if I have a top one. Alright. That door is closed as far as I can remember. Yep, alright. I think The Shining is up there. The first time I watched that was 4 in the morning and I was... That's when I first moved to Georgia. I was like in 2005, I guess. I worked at a video store. And I just remember how scary that movie was. <laughs> Holy shit. There's a door down here on the left I haven't been to yet. I'm gonna go to that. If I can. What? what kind of bullshit is that? It's you, you. You see what I'm talking about? I guess I gotta go to the right on the next right right here, down to the left. I'm like pointing at the screen, like you guys can see it. There's gotta be a bottle or something I can put the kerosene in one of those rooms. There's also, uh, I don't know. Like to be honest, when I was little. The uh, Michael Jackson thriller video scared the shit out of me. It was mainly the part where his eyes pop out. If you haven't seen it, spoiler. It's just a music video though. The first time I saw that, I was little and I couldn't, like, I couldn't bear to watch it. I could watch, like, Terminator 2 when I was four years old and be fine. Which is not even a scary movie. But I swear, I just couldn't sit through it. What else? 
I'm trying to think. Oh shit. Now just leave me a comment what you think is like the scariest movie right now is. Personally, I think the older horror movies do it better. I haven't been to this store yet. I'll just Ah Oh shit. I immediately regret going down here. What is all this? Oh health drinks. Nice. Beef jerky. Why in this place will I suppose it's dark and dry? Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's all I need, I guess. Let's head back. And then if I if I had to really pick something that probably scared the shit out of me the first time I saw it, I don't know. Like I'm I'm trying to really think about what's all out there versus do and old. Like if I if I watch a movie like The Crazies, I don't think it's scary. There's movies that make you think, though. I actually find like movies like No No Country for Old Men, where like there's like, if if there's like a really bad villain, like that a guy's played and it's actually like a really good actor, like the guy that played uh, ah what is his name, Javier Bordem. He he also plays the bad guy Felix in Collateral, and he's also in the new Skyfall movie. He plays like the. Uh, I guess the hacker guy, like the main guy with the white hair, the the antagonist, if you would. That was a badass movie. All right, let's go back this way. What I'll do is I'll get this, I'll, I'll get the kerosene, put it in, and I'll save it. And I'll probably be all I have for right now. I've been playing this for about an, I say about 50 minutes now, which I'll chop that down into a handful of parts. I've been trying to make these videos long. I haven't been on the best internet connection when I'm uploading these or anything else this entire holiday season. Okay. This is not the room with the kerosene. This is the other. Wait, what? Hang on. Let me just read what this says. Why would you pour kerosene in there, though? It is kerosene that I'm going to get, right? I don't think it's fuel. Unless kerosene has some attributes that I'm not... Are you kidding? Really? Holy fuck, dude. Look at my health. I know what movie I was just thinking about. Alright, that's time for a first aid kit. Yeah. That movie Red Eye... I, I think it was Red Eye. Oh, come on. Just let me by. That actually wasn't that scary. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was. Some sort of container. I got you covered. I'm telling you, one hit from those guys and it's just like, you're fucked. Oil-filled bottle. 